in triangle PQR, which is that one, and triangle STR, which is that one, PR is 10, ST is 3, and SR is 6. Okay, so everything's, they've given us that. Then it says, for four marks, show that this. Okay, now, they said PQR, and then they've got three lines going that way. Okay, now, do those three lines mean congruent, or do those three lines mean similar? Well, it would definitely be similar. Why? Because remember, in the word congruence, we can see there's a E over here. So congruence is when they say that. Whereas in the word similarity, there's three I's. One, two, three. And so the lines go that way. Okay. So we are definitely busy with similarity. Now remember, what does it mean when two triangles are similar? Similar means that they're not exactly the same. It means that it maybe looks like this. It's like this one is a smaller version of this one. So when two triangles are similar, when are two triangles similar? Well, there's two ways to show that two triangles are similar. The first way is to show, show that all corresponding angles are the same. Same. For example, if this is 40 and this is 40, this is 70, then this is 70. Or let's actually choose a different number. Let's say 60, then this is 60. And then this would have to be 80. And then this would have to be 80. So if those are all, you see how these two are the same? And then those two are the same? And then those two are the same. So if that happens, then they are similar. What do I mean by corresponding? I'm just saying all the matching angles are the same. Show that all corresponding, sorry, angles. So these two are the same, those two are the same, and those two are the same. The other way to do it is show that the sides are in proportion. What does that mean? Well, let's say, for example, uh, let's actually go back here. So now we're not using angles, now we're using sides. So let's say, for example, this is a 3, this is a 6, this is a 7, this is a 14, this is an 8, and then this would be 16. Have a look at this. If you say 3 times 2, you get 6. If you say 7 times 2, you get 14. And if you say 8 times 2, you get 16. So can you see that this one is double this one? So can you see that we can, all of the different parts are double, okay? That is what we say that all the sides are in proportion. So, we're not going to use the sides in proportion for this question because they haven't given us all of the sides. Can you see that? They haven't, they haven't given us enough sides to be able to go and see if all of them are in proportion. So, we're going to use angles because they gave us these parallel lines. And whenever they give us parallel lines, it unlocks some amazing features for us. It unlocks fun or fuzz if you have a Z. So whenever you have parallel lines, then let's rather use the U like that. Then we must remember that we've got these things that we can use. So what we're going to do, remember I said there were two things here. I said that we could either use angles or sides. And when I said angles, I said all of the angles, the corresponding angles must be the same. So let's go see if we can make the angles the same. So for example, we know that this angle, sorry, this is meant to be R2 over here. I don't know why that was like that. We know that these two angles have to be the same, this one and this one, because of vertically opposite angles. So we can say, um, let's just say in triangle PQR and STR. Okay, so we can say that angle R1 must be the same as angle R2. And that is because they are vertically opposite angles. Okay, the next thing is that if you look here, can you see the Z? So what we know from a Z is that the corner angles are the same. So that's this angle and this angle. 
So we could say that angle P is the same as angle S, and that is because these lines are alternating. So we could say alternating angles, and that is because the, la the side QP is parallel to ST. For the next one, there's two different ways you could do this. You could either use parallel lines again by going that way. So you could say that these two are the same. Your other option is that, oh well, yeah, I think that's actually the best one. If, if For those of you that want to try another way, you could also say because of the sum of angles in a triangle. But if that doesn't make sense, then just ignore what I just said. So let's block this out. So we're going to use parallel the other way. So we're going to say Q is the same as T, and it's the same reason, um, QP, parallel to ST. So there we've done it. We've showed all three angles. We're not saying that all angles are the same. We're just saying that those two are the same, those two angles are the same, so this one and this one, and then we're saying those two angles are the same. So all of the matching ones are the same. So therefore, the two triangles, PQR, are similar. And the reason is because, why? Was it all the sides? No, it was all of the angles. Angle, angle, angle. Then, now, remember, this is important. Are these two triangles now similar? Yes. And what did we say about similar triangles? Remember, I wrote it over here earlier. Let's take all of this away. We said when two triangles are similar, then number one, all corresponding, well let's rather use the word matching, because when I say corresponding, some of you might think I'm talking about this, because the F is also corresponding. All matching angles are the same. Number two, all matching sides they're not the same, but they are in proportion, are in proportion. For example, remember if I have if I have two triangles, and this is a 3, this is a 6, this is a 7, this is a 14, this is an 8, and this is a 16. We're not saying that they're all the same, but we're saying that they're all in the right proportion. Can you see that this one is double this one? Okay? So... We just proved in this question that these two triangles are similar. So that means that these two, that means that both of these are true. So now we can go to this one. And all the matching sides are in proportion. Because these two triangles are similar. Now to work out your proportions very easily, you're going to take this, okay? And you're going to make some proportions. What do I mean? Take the first two letters. And then take the first two, then take the second two, and take the second two, then take the first and the last, and then take the first and the last. Then what I want you to do, well, we actually have to give a reason for what we just said over here. The reason is that the triangles are similar, but your teacher, there's so many different ways of teachers writing this. You could use, so just see what your teacher says. Some teachers will just say, proportional over here. Some teachers will say corresponding. Sorry, some sorry, they won't say they'll say um it's because these triangles are similar. So they'll say similar triangles or some teachers will say corresponding sides in proportion. So just check what your teacher says. Okay, I know that on this memo they say proportional. So now, uh, go fill in whatever you can here. So PQ, do we know what PQ's length is? No. Do we know ST's length? Yes, we do. So that's three. You don't have to say three centimeters. Just say three. Uh, QR, we don't have. And then TR, we don't have. And then PR is 10. And SR is six. Okay, now. I don't want you to choose this one. This is an ugly one. Why? Because we don't know two of the things. So leave that one out. Just leave it out. Just ignore it completely. Now you just have that. So we're just going to say PQ over 3 equals to 10 over 6. 
Now, when you get a situation like this, all I want you to do is do cross multiply. So multiply these two together and then multiply these two together. So six multiplies with the PQ and 10 multiplies with the three. So you end up with 30 over here. Then you get the PQ by itself by dividing both sides by six. And so PQ is five. And there we worked out PQ.